Yo, potent ponder and I'm back. I just wanted to come and share this real quick because I'm listening to Nicki Minaj on Station Head, right? So Nicki Minaj was uh she she had a person sing and they won a thousand dollars, but she asked him some questions like where do you see yourself like going with your career with your music? And the person wasn't really able to answer the question with a potent answer. I want to tell you this, and it's so crazy that I made a tweet on my Twitter around the same time that Nicki started to talk about this. So Nicki said, This is why people go on job interviews and they don't have like whatever she said i can't remember verbatim but it was something about like you know having success on the job interview i want to tell you this right i've learned because i work in corporate america i've actually sat in on interviews you know um to interview new people i want to tell you this right a lot of people fail job interviews because you don't answer the question fully right so let me give you an example right if i ask you a question and i say where do you see yourself in five years right and you tell me um I see myself starting this role and learning my role. There's no future projection. There's no hope or anything within that statement. Who do, what is potent about that statement? If I ask you, where do you see yourself in five years? And you say, I see myself growing within a company. I want to learn my job fully. You know, I want to hopefully be able to, you know, learn other products and, you know, gain more knowledge about the company in its entirety. That sounds more potent. Some of y'all don't be giving full answers. And this is real life shit when it comes to like doing job interviews and all of that. You have to be potent and your answers you want to know something steal this if you need to right i want to tell you this anytime that i go on a job interview or whatever right i have this one thing that i did in a job before and i use it for everything so you can steal this and use it too right and i know that whatever right so they ask, they tell me, tell me about a time where you went above and beyond for a customer. So this is for the people who work in customer service, right? So this is a thing that I actually did. I was flying out to Vegas the next day, right? I spoke to a woman on the phone. She told me how she just got diagnosed with cancer and that this medication that she needed, she had to start it by the next morning at nine o'clock. The doctor said she had to start the medication, right? So I'm looking through her folders and stuff and I'm like, they didn't send your authorization in, right? The next day, day I'm off. Instead of me dropping the ball on that situation, what I did was I left I called the the answering service for the for the doctors. I told them it was imperative that we needed the prior authorization cuz I don't know if they didn't understand that that medication needed prior authorization. I told them it was imperative to please fax it over. I gave the message to the answering service people. They sent it over. I came in to work the next day even though I was off. I was supposed to I, I did leave at 10 o'clock out of the Albany International Airport, right? I I was I, I have my flight book i came in at eight o'clock in the morning made sure that the authorization was there seen it in her folder walked it over personally to the prior authorization team and let them know that this is stat the woman needs to start her medication within an hour they processed it i called the pharmacy let them know it was there called the woman boom 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 guess what you want to know the reason why i did that i did it because i cared about that customer and her health right you want to know what? When I came back from vacation from Vegas, I get to my desk. My boss has all of these balloons and stuff there. And I'm like, what happened? She said, I really appreciate how you went above and beyond for that customer. I looked her in her eye and I said, that's my job, right? I love that job. But I said, that's my job. That is a clear example. It's a little long, just a little bit, but it shows that you executed it and you killed it. Nicki Minaj gave straight advice on that because it's just, and that's not the first time I heard her give advice on people not answering questions fully. Like, I don't understand that. That kid was asked, what do you see? As, oh, I think she might've asked him, what do you want out of this career? What do you want out of being a musical artist? What I would have said is I would love to, my, for one, I want my music to be heard for Two, I want to be able to take care of myself. So hopefully I'm a some sort of successful artist so I can take care of myself. And I want my family to be proud of me. He said one thing, but the answer just was not potent. I want to make sure that when you're out here in this world, that you are answering questions potently. You don't got to over answer it, but think about what they say. And see, a lot of people, they freak out at job interviews. I don't freak out. That's my forte. I love interviewing. I love answering questions. I love it, right? They they always try to ask you different stuff like, you know, how did you manage your tasks and how did you do this? So, you know, you have to work on whatever is, you know, whatever is the, whatever 
is based on a business need, you have to prioritize that first and do anything else after that. Like, you know, they ask you little questions like that. I can't go into full detail because this is just a little short upload, but I pretty much just wanted to come and say that. When people ask you questions, answer them fully. I want to tell you something. So, you know, Nikki is wealthy, right? I want to tell you about my aunt and I, I took this from her and I actually stole it and I used this in my interviews too. I use it, but I also add things to it, right? So my aunt told me she's a lawyer. She works in DC. And she, you know, she works for the federal government or whatever, right? She told me that she went on a job interview. No, she told me that she interviewed a person for her law firm, right? And she asked the person, where do you see yourself in five years? They gave them, they gave a little detailed answer, but guess what they said first? I just want to be happy. She was so intrigued by that. She was so intrigued that the person just said that they wanted to be happy. Think about your responses. If a person asks you a question, answer it fully. Answer it fully. Tell me about a time where you had to where you had to manage different tasks and this and that. Tell them, you know, you gotta sometimes it really be coming on to you quick and you just gotta make your job position. You gotta make whatever position you with you you're in and make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? Make it make sense. You have to. I love it because I like crunch time. I love, I don't know. I get intrigued by that when people ask me questions and I like, damn, I gotta like hash this out and know, and it's like you're in front of them and you gotta think about all this stuff quick. Like I want y'all, and, and also, before you go on a job interview, enrich yourself. Go on YouTube, look up job interviewing, job interviewing videos and stuff like that. Don't just be out here willy-nilly and just not answering questions fully. This is why you ain't getting called back. I promise you, I might apply for a job and not hear nothing back, but anytime I've interviewed, Lord, thank you so much. Anytime I've interviewed for a job, I got it. I promise you, I have. Potent pondering, never pandering. I hope you got a message from this video. I'm out. Peace.